Hey ladies and gentlemen, how is going over there? Today I actually read an article on FE website and I think uh, you are going to derive a lot of values from it as well. And uh, I got the right of why trying to search for effect of having too much protein in your feet, especially if you are raising catfish or livestock in general, the effect of too much of having um, protein in your feet. And uh, while reading one of the articles, I got to understand that the uh, effect of too much protein in the feed, especially in cattle, is that um, it will make them to have urinary diseases. And even in human being, if you're taking a lot of protein at the early stages of your life, it's very easy for someone to suffer from what we call cancer. So, uh, and that actually prompted me to making or digging deeper into what will be the effect on your catfish. So in this case, uh, for the sake of this video, um, the researcher actually made use of another type of catfish. They made use of Chanel catfish because that is what is applicable in their country. And I want to believe what is applicable to Chanel catfish should also be applicable to Ethrobrancus, Claria, Longifilis and other types we have in Africa as so, well. So I want you to see what I saw. I'm going to be sharing the screen with you right now. So ladies and gentlemen, without wasting much of their time, uh, the website again is feu.org feu.org and um, if you just go to that website, you just search for Chanel Catfish Nutritional Requirements. So I will not be bothering you with reading all the paragraphs here, especially for the protein requirements. I will jump to the last paragraph. And uh, let me just read it out so that I am able to drive home my point. A study at Auburn University in the United States of America by Prather and Louisville in 1973 showed that when Chanel catfish were fed diets containing high protein content that is 42% uh, and above and low amount of non-protein energy less than 1.5 kilocal per gram fish growth was suppressed I hope you understand that now okay if you still don't understand still follow through when the protein level was reduced to 36 percent and the non-protein energy level remained the same that is the protein uh, the crew protein of your feed now has been reduced from that initial 42 percent as a benchmark down to 36 percent see what happened the growth increased and uh, okay let me read up this uh, old paragraph the last paragraph so when the non-protein energy in either the 42 percent or the 36 percent protein diet was increased the fish performance was improved this study so this is the summary now this study indicated that when excessive dietary protein was provided the excess protein was catabolized into energy leading to a reduction in feed utilization efficiency so ladies and gentlemen if you are planning to inculcate uh, a larger percentage of crude protein in your feeds of course you may have to have a rethink so that you will not end up giving your fishes uh, feeds that is rich in protein yet you are not seeing the result i hope you understood what i just passed across to you now so the best thing about this uh, protein requirement is that uh, the the fry according to research you know i don't know anything according to research 
the research shows that uh, fries they require up to like 60 percent crude protein in their diets and uh, as they continue to grow as fishes continue to grow in stages the uh, dietary protein requirements reduces so if you now maintain that 60 percent even for your juveniles you will observe that your fishes are not even going to be uh, attaining the, the the growth rate because the protein is too much and it's more or less like you are giving your fishes a lot of works to do because they have to break down the, the structures of protein to derive energy instead of you to give them little uh, protein and a lot, a, a, a lot of uh, energy giving food and if you are able to do that you will see results so ladies and gentlemen I want to believe you derive value watching this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel because on this channel you are going to derive a lot of things I'm gaining as well because I am not a guru in this field we are both learning together and that is why I want us to build a wonderful community together so Corona is real stay safe you know I love you